Hello, welcome to another video. Today, I'm going to be taking my car to a hand car wash. And the purpose of the video is to really show you if you take your car to these kind of car washes, are they going to inflict any kind of damage onto your paint? So the plan of action is, I'm going to wash the bonnet, I'm going to fully polish it, correct it, and get it ready to go. To do that, I'm going to use a citrus pre-wash, a snow foam, I'm then going to use a, the Infinity Wax, Wax Off Shampoo, and then we're going to decontaminate it and give it a bit of a clay bar before finally giving it a good polish. This is the only part of the car that I'm going to wash and the main reason for that is that I want to see how well the hand car wash is going to wash the rest of the car. So I've just been on holiday, I've done an awful lot of driving during that holiday and the car is quite dirty and I want to see how they can deal with that dirt. There's bugs on the front and there's just a lot of general dust and road grime. I'm not going to touch the wheels and tyres and we're just going to see how well they wash the car and if they inflict any damage. So let's finish washing up, polishing and then we'll get round to the car wash. So just while I'm washing the car just now, just want to say one thing and I feel that it is something that is important to note throughout this process. I'm taking this car to one hand car wash. The results that I get are not representative of every hand car wash out there. You will get better results than what I get, you'll get worse results than what I get. So just be very mindful and listen to the advice that I give at the end of the video if you're thinking about taking your car to one of these hand car washes. In the meantime though, if you could hit that subscribe button and hit that like button, I'd really appreciate that. Alright, so I'm just pulling into the car wash now. So they've went straight in with a kind of pre-wash, straight out of the hose. Um, through the giving the wheels a quick blast and just rinsing the pre-wash off the car after less than a minute of it being on. And they've now essentially just covered the car in foam. And they are cracking on, washing on top of the foam with two wash mitts on the go at the one time. And just like that, we're back from the car wash. Now, it's kind of moment of truth time. What I've done is I've sat the car, parked it up, and allowed it to dry off, essentially replicating the circumstances that any normal person would, would be under if they went to a hand car wash, because they're not going to get home, whip out a drying till, and dry their car off. So let's replicate those circumstances 
and we'll go and have a look around the car, see how good a job they've done, see if they've caused any damage to the bonnet that we polished. Let's go and do it. So with the car being mostly dry now, first area we'll look at is the lower half of the doors that was probably the dirtiest area of the car. On the face of it, it looks like they've actually done a good job at cleaning the car, but on closer inspection, I can see they've not done a good job at all. I can quite clearly draw a finger line there where there's still dirt and grime running along the bottom of the door. Let me take you in for a closer look. I'm not sure how well this is going to pick up in camera, but hopefully you can see the kind of smearing marks there. And if I just draw a line again with my finger here, you should be able to see it. You can see three lines there in the dirt. So we're not off to a phenomenal start. The next area that I want to look at is the front bumper. If you remember from the original shots, there was a lot of bugs splattered on the front bumper. So bearing in mind that they've probably used some sort of TFR or they've they used a pre-wash and they've hand contact washed it. Let's see if there's any remnants of those bugs left. And straight off the bat, you can see that there's still a lot of bug splatters all around about that front bumper area there. And these aren't etched on. These are only a couple of days old. They should be removed quite easily. Coming round to the other side of the bumper, and again, you can still see that there's bug, um, bug marks around about it, and one of the fibres from their wash mitt. So I now want to move on to the rear of the car. So if you remember the crack that I had to the bumper, we've caught a lot of their fibres from their wash mitts in their nylon fibres, so they're not even using microfiber wash mitts. Alright, so we've now got the car down in the studio and we're going to get a look at the bonnet under the lights and see if they've inflicted any swirling, swirls or wash man. Okay, so just trying to focus in on the light there. And I don't know if it's going to come through in camera. It is very, very difficult to see and they are very, very, very small, but there is indeed some swirling to the paint. Just come at it from a different angle and see if we can get a better view of some of the swirls as the light catches them. On this occasion, I think I've got a way of going to the hand car wash. They've not done a phenomenal job. They have swirled up the paint ever so slightly on the freshly polished bonnet but for £5.50 what are you going to expect? Like I said I was very lucky on this occasion. I'm going to put up some in images now of an owner who's not been so lucky and this is a car that's currently in for correction and paintwork with IG detailing at the moment and through owner admission the car has only ever seen hand car washes, cheap hand car washes and what you'll notice is that there's some severe chemical burns along the metal trim and there's also severe swirling on the paint. Just as I come to wrap up this video, I want to offer a little bit of advice. If you're ever considering using a hand car wash, find one that you want to use and maybe just go and sit outside it for five minutes, see how they wash a car, see if it looks safe. If it does, then the next thing you think about is how busy are they? Are you going when there's maybe between five and 10 cars waiting? Because if you do, you could end up with pre-wash on your car for quite a while, because sometimes they walk up and down and they pre-wash cars. And lastly, what time of day is it? Is the sun shining? Because if the sun's shining, that's going to dry out any pre-wash or any acid-based wheel cleaners that they put on your car, which could inflict damage. If you're able to avoid all these sort of things, then by all means, if you're willing to take the chance, go to a hand car wash. Not all of them are bad, and some of them do take pride in their work. However, my advice would be, buy a couple of buckets, buy some products, and try washing your car yourself. Try giving your car a safe wash, and you never know, detailing might be your next hobby. I really do hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, please consider subscribing to the channel. Hit that thumbs up, all that good stuff helps me out. And until the next time, you take it easy.